What's up, everybody? Spring is around the corner. Paul the Fifth here, and I'm feeling like taking a little road trip today. We might run into ITT. I have access. What's good, everybody? My name is Paul the Fifth, Fifth, and do you know what time it is? It is finally time for me to show you how to get started in this music production game. Before I dive into today's video, I want to give you a little bit of my background and education in this field. So my journey stems back to 2008. Eight. I moved from southern Indiana to a small town in Ohio called Chillicothe and there was a school called the Recording Workshop. And during that eight week course, I learned the fundamentals and basics of music production, recording, engineering, and mixing and mastering. Fast forward a little bit. In 2015, I moved here to Nashville, worked a job to get on my feet, and then in 2017, I attended SAE Institute Nashville. A few months ago, I put out a video of my five top favorite things about my time at SAE. You can check out that video. I will have a link in the description. And after attending SAE Institute Nashville, I started Legacy Studios Nash. It's been a journey. It's been a lot of heartbreak, a lot of great times. Nashville is full of singers, songwriters, country musicians, and things are not just country anymore. It's expanding. There's a huge rock scene. There's an EDM, an underground scene here as well. And there's a big CCM or Christian contemporary music scene here and then things are picking up within the rock world. Music is music, it's my heart and soul, and I love it. My goal for today's video is to show you, the viewer, how to get started in doing this. I'm going on the idea that you may be a novice, have no experience in this, and if you do, I apologize if things are too basic, too watered down. I thank you for watching still, but trust me, we're gonna be laying a solid foundation today and we will be building concept after concept after concept. It's gonna be fun. Let's go ahead and get started. Here are the things that you will need to get started in music production. As you know, we are in 2021. I'm under the idea that you probably already have yourself some sort of computer, whether it be a laptop or some type of desktop. And if you don't, that's okay. Here are five places that you can get yourself a good computer. If the city you live in has one, you can always visit an Apple store if they're open. If not, definitely visit apple.com. If you can't visit an Apple store, check out Best Buy because they are an Apple authorized retailer. They're full of knowledge and they're very patient. If you're unable to go to either one of those stores, there's always Walmart. If you want to shop at music stores, you have the guitar centers of the world and my personal favorite music store ever, Sweetwater. They are located in Northern Indiana. If you can't make it, I encourage you to visit sweetwater.com. And if you happen to call, contact my personal sales rep. His name is Matt South. He is so full of knowledge. He's patient, he's smart. He will listen to you and steer you in the right direction. I promise you that. If you're not able to visit any one of those stores, here are a few more alternatives. Don't discount social media and applications. There's apps like Let Go, Offer Up, Facebook Marketplace, and Craigslist. I feel like I shouldn't have to say this, but just in case you choose the latter two options, please make sure you take a friend with you, meet in a well-lit public area, social distance, wear your mask, and just please generally just be safe. Now that we have that out of the way, 
let's move on. You may be saying, Paul V, you're telling me to get a computer, but you're not saying what kind. Should I get a PC or a Mac? That really depends on you, your type of workflow, what you like to use, and more specifically, your budget. There's pros and cons of both platforms. My recommendation is that you get yourself a Mac computer. If you're gonna be using your computer for music production, film, graphics, editing, bouncing files, rendering things, Mac, in my opinion, is the overall best way to go. If you're into PCs, while I'm not a PC hater, I just not have used one myself personally since 2008. I would suggest you check out the previous stores, websites I mentioned earlier, and also contacting the manufacturers for specs and more information. PC, Mac, I'm gonna leave that decision up to you because only you know what's best for you and your workflow and the platforms you use outside of music production. But here are a few general tech specs from me to you to give you the best overall experience with your music production. I want to do something a little unique and different here, okay? Trust me, I think it may help you to get a better idea and really understand what I'm talking about. I want to relate the tech specs of your computer to our human body, okay? Just like in life, we have so many cool things that happen. There are some bad memories, some bad things that take place, but those memories, we store them and we hold on to them, right? Well, once you get into this music production thing, it's gonna become addictive. You have a lot of sessions with multiple files and you're going to need to save them. I would recommend you get a computer with at least a 500 gig hard drive and get yourself an external hard drive. Get you one that has one to two terabytes. They're not super expensive these days. They're rather affordable. I'll put some links in the description for you to check out. Just like our human bodies, we need rest every night. We're gonna need something to fuel us daily to get through everything the day brings to us from 7 a.m. to midnight. Whatever your day may be like, we're gonna need plenty of energy and fuel to get through all that, right? Most computers have pretty good solid battery lives, but to process everything that you're gonna be throwing at it, you're gonna need it to do, I would recommend a computer with at least minimum 16 gigs of RAM. That stands for random access memory. That is going to help not only the memory and stored on your computer, on the internal hard drive, but it's gonna help process things more efficiently and smoothly for your productions. Another thing you need to think about is the processor. Just like we're gonna process things mentally throughout the day, we're gonna have to be full of fuel and energy, we are kind of like that Energizer Bunny, right? We've got to keep going and going and going. Eventually, you're going to be throwing a lot on your computer. So in conjunction with the memory and the RAM, you'll want to have a good processor to process everything you're throwing at it from bouncing files, rendering movies, making edits, all that stuff. I would suggest if you're able to get yourself an M1, that's awesome. If you can't, Get yourself an Intel processor, at least an i7 or i9. These three things should be a good starting combination for you on a computer, on a desktop or laptop to be able to work in music production efficiently. This is my M1 13 inch MacBook Pro. You may have seen the video I made when I ordered this, when it came in, some of the issues I had. You can check that out in the link in the description. I customized this with 16 gigs of RAM and one terabyte of internal storage. Cool. Now that we've talked about that, let's move on to the next thing. You might be aware of what my personal setup is. It's three Focusrite interfaces. I've got an M1 Mac Mini with 16 gigs of RAM and one terabyte of internal storage. And I have two M audio monitors as well as some Atom audio monitors for playback. Sweet water, upper, okay. Ooh, I like that. Guitar center. Okay, cool. That's pretty sweet. You know, I can talk to you and 
show you some things online, but you may not be able to make it to Sweetwater up in Northern Indiana right now. And I can be a chatty Kathy all day long, but I have a better idea. We're in tax season, right? Well, I think I may have found, and I've got a really good idea for a base package to show you on how to get started in this whole music production thing. Let's stop talking and let's get out the studio and let's take a field trip. You down for it? I thought so. Let's go, come on, it's okay. All right, here we go. Ready? Let's do this, it's gonna be fun, I promise. Let's go. I'm gonna put on my mask, we're gonna take a field trip, and I'm gonna show you something cool. Come on, it's okay, let's go, it's safe, come on. Be scared, let's go. All right, we made it to our destination. What's up, everybody? We got Paul Easy, Paul the Fifth. Paul the Fifth. Today, I'm gonna show you a couple good packages to get if you don't know what you're doing as far as getting started. I'm gonna show you some good price points, some good packages to get started. You ready to do this, ITT? Showtime. This is what I wanted to show you. It's a brand that I use. It's called Focusrite. This is your Scarlett 2i2, meaning you have two inputs. This one has four 18 total inputs together. And then this one right down here is a bundle of your interface, your mic, and headphones for the wonderful price of $269. Persona's Audio Box Studio Ultimate Bundle, including a two channel interface, a condenser microphone, headphones, and a pair of speakers. It also includes Studio One's flagship recording software, Studio One 5. All of those come with cables too, but let's talk about cables. Here is your standard XLR, your male, female. Mogami Gold. This is the best of the best. This is your TRS 20 foot. That one's a little long, but that should do the job. And over here is the Focusrite 2i2. What you've got, input one, input two. You have your gain knob, gain knob. Right here is for your monitor, your speakers, and if you're connecting your headphones, right here is your volume knob for that. On the back, you have USB cable, your outputs. These here are RCAs, but you can also use quarter inch outputs for that to connect to your monitors. Let's go to monitor world, y'all. I wish y'all could see my face because I'm smiling underneath this mask. Let's see what's going on. We're nosing. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Hello, you all. How are you all doing today? This is what I've got in my studio, the T7V, and my good friend Catherine, she gave me those for free. I like them because they're very flat. It gives you a very accurate response of your listening environment. All the feel, feel. Let's keep going. Okay. So over here, we've got more monitors. We've got everything from the Adam Audios again, JBLs. We've got your Yamahas right now. Tax season. Did you see the two price points out there? Anything from 269 to 320. 
Whatever your budget is, both of those products are good starting points. You've got KRK monitors. These M audios are very similar to what I have as far as my VX8As. Then down here we've got more KRK rockets. Which one are the KRK rockets? These yellow ones here. Okay. There you go, guys. All right. What are these right here, Paul? So these are other monitors. This is an ISO acoustics speaker mount. So what that does, your speaker actually will sit on top of there like that. That's neat. The reason for that is if you've got your speaker sitting down on your table, it's gonna be vibrating and putting out a lot of sound. What that's gonna do is get a lot of vibrations from your table, from the speaker to the table, that sound is traveling down. You're not gonna get the most accurate listening environment. Perfect. And up here, we've got a more wide array of monitors. Here is another isolator that you can put your speakers on. It's foam. So that way, it's a little more portable, lightweight. You can put that on your desk or whatever you may have your speakers sitting on. So that way, it gives you a good place to put your monitors on. You're not scratching your table or your desk. And then that also gives you isolation. So that way, you don't have any vibration from your speakers to your desk, causing any unnecessary noise. Perfect. All right. So today, guys, this video is basically constructed for your information, Paul. And so. With these tool, uh, these you know pieces of equipment, what would they be able to do with all of this equipment? Basically, once you've got your interface, you can download the software that comes with it for free. I'll show you how to do that here shortly. And then once you do that, I'm going to show you how you can connect your interface to your computer and then get your speaker set up. And then all you have to do is hit that red button, start recording. That's it, guys. All right, let's move. All right. Anything else you want to show them? Any eye candy in here or no? <laughs> Tell them about the live coming up. They're oh yeah, be ex super excited. Yeah, about so this. ITT, who is filming this for me, we have some live giveaways. I'm gonna be giving away a USB webcam, so that way you can use it to hook up to your computer. You can go live. You can zoom with it. I'm gonna be doing some zoom interviews using that, and tell them what you got going going on that you're giving away oh well basically guys if you come over to um i'm not from this planet uh that channel will be giving away cameras indoor cameras um and also we have some uh gun lights that will actually be given away too with some other little secrets but i'm not gonna let the other secrets out the out the, the hat yet oh yeah and we got something really 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 big coming up for father's day you know Ladies, gents, I know you love your dads. Dads love tech gear. We got a big surprise coming for you. Can't All wait right. to tell you about it. Yeah, boy. All right, let's go. All We're right. wrapping it up now. Yeah, let's go back to the studio and I'll show you how to get things put together and I'll show you a couple other neat tips and tricks. Guys, make sure you get in contact with him. His business information is in the um, about section of uh, YouTube. So, you know, anything correlating with production, you know, music, anything like that, don't hesitate to reach out to him. His name is Paul the Fifth. fifth, fifth. Feel perfect out here. Beautiful, guys. Feel like summertime. All right, guys, we about to cut. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so whenever he rolls out the latest videos, you'll be able to receive them. Uh, and also, make sure you guys comment. We want to hear from you all. We care about what you, you know, what you say, whether it's negative or positive. Let us know what's going on. And we are out of here. Paul, the fifth.